Goku eventually managed to get his body back after it had been taken over by Captain Ginyu's body change technique. However, the price was high as Goku's body was badly injured. To heal his wounds, Vegeta put him into the recuperation tank on Frieza's spaceship. Meanwhile, Krillin was heading towards Guru's house to ask for the words needed to awaken the Eternal Dragon. Okay, here I go. Krillin that in order to summon the Namekian dragon, he would need to speak Namekian. After hearing this, Krillin returned to Frieza's spaceship and stole the Dragon Balls when Vegeta wasn't looking. Then, immediately summoning Purunga, Shenron of Planet Namek, he brought Piccolo back and asked him to be revived to Planet Namek. However, Vegeta appeared, having noticed that something was wrong. So that was it. Dare you try to put one past me? You won't get away with this! Vegeta demanded that they grant a wish for his immortality. But, just at that moment, Guru died, and the Dragon Balls turned to stone. Mortality are ruined. No one has ever made such a fool of me. You worms, I won't let you get away with this. I'm going to take my time pounding you to death.
see. I guess it wasn't all lies. Transform, Frieza! You might as well transform right now and show your true self! Ah, so you know about that. How did you find out? That idiot Sarbon let it slip. Well, if it's death you seek so badly, I won't stand in the way. Take a good look. This isn't something many people ever get to see.